This morning I will be offering a special uh, Mary and ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Reconciliation. Hail, full of grace, you are called upon by sinners because you are merciful and look on our distress with compassion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask God to bear your burden, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation, namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, God made Christ to be sin, who did not know sin, so that in Christ we might become the righteousness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, my soul. All my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul. Do not forget all the gifts of God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul, who pardons all your sins, heals all your ills, delivers your life from the pit, surrounds you with love and compassion. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger, abounding in kindness. God does not always rebuke, nurses no lasting anger. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on the faithful. For he knows how we are formed. 
remembers that we are dust. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. But the Lord's kindness is forever toward the faithful from age to age. God favors the children's children of those who keep the covenant. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The cross of Christ is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all the living things on earth. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, moms, um, those moms out there who have been at home with their kids a lot more than normal know full well that mothers have a, a special role in bringing peace to the household. Whether it's little brother, little sister fighting, or big brother and dad fighting, or whoever, moms have a way of bringing peace and reconciliation to a household. It's a unique role that mothers play, bringing peace and reconciliation. And that first reading tells us, and all this is from God, who has re reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciled, God, namely God, was reconciling the world to himself in Christ. God is reconciling the world to himself in Christ. And he's given us the ministry of reconciliation. That's what Paul says. God wants peace. God wants reconciliation between his children and between his children and himself. And he brings that reconciliation through Jesus Christ. And it's clear here that he uses ministers to help bring about that reconciliation. That reconciliation to Christ on the cross. Mary, our blessed mother, was given to us by Christ on that cross as our mother to help bring reconciliation between us and God and between us and our fellow mankind. You know, something else. Whenever anyone faces hardship, especially when somebody faces death, when we face our own mortality, we end up having to look at ourselves and see, I need to be ready. I need to be ready for death. I need to be ready for what comes after death. I need to be ready. And so we naturally seek peace and reconciliation with others, with those that we've hurt, those that we're in a bad relationship with, those that we've sinned against. And we naturally seek reconciliation with God. And so people who've been coming into confession all this past week 
especially because of this coronavirus, I think it's the end. Now, blessed mother, in this time, especially in this time of Lent and in this time of coronavirus, we can examine our lives and see where we fall and turn to our blessed mother who, ha who seeks to bring reconciliation. Notice what we say at the end of every Hail Mary. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Right now, we can examine our lives and ask Mary to pray for us sinners to help us be reconciled with each other and with God now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, O God, all creation, for the fear of the mystery of the seed of bread and all the fruit of the earth, and for the human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, our God. Blessed be the Lord God of all creation, the career of goodness, the year of the sea, the wide walking, through the divine and the hands, and we call our spiritual drink. Blessed be God of all. Pray, brothers and sisters, in my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands, the praise of the Lord of His name, for our good and good all of His Lord, we offer you these gifts of reconciliation and praise, that through the intercession of us, the Virgin Mary, refuge of sinners, you may be the mercy part of our sins and save our way through hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Almighty and eternal God, to give you thanks in all things and for all things, and to proclaim your mighty deeds. For in your infinite goodness, you do not abandon those who serve you, but in marvelous ways, you call them back to your love. You gave the Blessed Virgin Mary, sinless as she was, a heart of compassion for sinners. Seeing your love as their love, they turn to her with trust as they ask for forgiveness. Seeing her beauty of spirit, they seek to turn away from sin in its ugliness. Taking to heart her words and example, they learn to keep your son's commandments. 
Through him the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabbaton, Plenisum Cheri et Serva, Gloria Tuum, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus, we venit in Domine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. We may call the prayer petition to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that you will accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we all in the of the Holy Catholic Church be pleased to grant her peace, to guard the right and government throughout the whole world, together to serve the Prince of Hope and Mary our Bishop, and all those who hold the truth, not have not sought faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered who stayed in devotion and devotion, for them they all do this sacrifice of praise, for they all put themselves in all their fears of to the redemption of their souls, the hope of health and well being, and paying homage to you, the eternal God, and the living truth. In the communion of those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph's spouse, the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Phoebus, Clemens, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cassandras, John and Paul, Blasphemous Canadian, and all your sins. We ask that your merits and prayers, all things, who may defend the life and protect the life, through Christ our Lord and Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that we hold down, for our days in peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counsel on the plot of those who chose through Christ our Lord, amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray and see bless, and now we approve this offering that we have sent. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that they come across the body and love your most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and devil hands. The rise raised heaven. To you, O God, to my God, give you the thanks and said, Bless him. Broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when someone was ended, he took this precious child up to his holy and honorable hands. And once more, he gave you thanks and said, Bless you. He gave the child to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it, for this is the child's of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei, Mortem Tuam Anunciam Tone, Et Tuam Resurrectionem Ascension to 
Son of our Lord. We, your servants, your holy people, all to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victory, this holy day, this spotless day, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased, Lord, upon these offerings of the serene, kindly counsels, and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our Father of faith, and the offering of your high priest, love you said, holy sacrifice, spotless living. From the prayer, we ask you, O my God, man that these gifts to pour by the hands of your holy angel. To your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who do this participation at the altar receive the most holy body of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heaven and blessing. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Remember also that your servants who have gone before us to sign faith and rest the seat of peace. Grant them all we pray in all who sleep in Christ in this refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. To solve your service to those sinners, open air bond and mercies, gracious and grant some share and fellowship in the holy apostles and martyrs, who have drawn the battle of Stephen, the die of Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, and Marcellinus, Peter, the Lysias, the Pepin, Agatha, Lucy, Agatha, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your sins, administer the teaching to their company. Not weigh your merits, but grace and support. In Christ our Lord, we will you continue to make all these good things over. You sanctify, fill them with life, bless them, bestow them all upon us. Through the never been ended, O God, our mighty God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory in the night of forever and ever. Amen. After the Savior's command, before my mind teaching, he dare say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us from what we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ, who the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, and peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the world, who will reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with you too. I will stay in me, so is that God's on me, me serve no peace. I will stay in me, so is that God's on me, me serve no peace. I will stay in me, so is that God's on me.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Glorious things are spoken to all men, for from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Let us pray. Lord our God, we have received the body and blood of your Son, the sacrament of our reconciliation. Again, grant through the intercession of us, Lord Mary, that this sacrament may bring us the grace of your love and forgiveness, and the reward of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the final blessing, I just want to make it. Couple announcements. Uh, tomorrow uh, we will celebrate the Passion of our Lord uh, on Palm Sunday, uh, and so uh, we'll have Mass here at 11:30. Uh, so please make sure you uh, tune in to the live stream for that. 11:30 uh, Palm Sunday, and make sure you have your palms ready. We have palms in the uh, comments, and you may put them outside as well because the next day um, for people to pick up. And so please uh, make sure you pick up the palms so that you can um, join more fully, as fully as you can, uh, in the Palm Sunday Mass tomorrow. So um, looking forward to that. And um, just keep us all, each other, in our prayers uh, through this difficult time. It seems like we're just going to keep on going. So trying to do the best we can with the technology and everything. And uh, so I thank you and thank Shay for being our camera. The Lord be with you. And with your soul. May, um, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. 
And our protection is with the sisters of God. May God be with you when you pray. And be thou all praise and the hosts. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl out the world and seek to ruin the souls. Amen. Ave Regina Celorum. Ave Domina Angelorum. Salve Maria, salve Corta. Ex quo nulo lux est orta. Galerie mo gloriosa. Super omnes et gilosa. Vale, o vale, 